Hello, we are doing another algebraic proof of this equality here. When I first looked at this, I thought, oh no, this is different. Maybe we need to approach this in a different way than we had been. Um, so I looked through the book see, to see if there were some theorems or something funny that I might have to apply. And I was racking my brain and then I thought, hey, let's just try to apply the definition of um, these uh, combinations here and see if that gets us anywhere before freaking out and trying to try a whole bunch of different new things. Okay, let's, let's try to apply what we know and, and go from there, okay? So I'm going to start from the left-hand side. And like always, right, you can start from either side. It's just important that you don't assume the equality before you have that as a known, as something that's proven. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and start to think about 2n choose 2. And I want to try to make it look like this, okay? So you want to keep in mind the other side, but just don't assume that it's equal, right? So I'm going to rewrite this using that theorem. Uh, all right, so this is equal to 2n factorial divided by 2 factorial times 2n minus 2 factorial. All right, so let's do a little bit of manipulation to see where this gets us. Um, because as always, right, we want to think about the other side, think about what that's equal to. So let's just kind of write out what we're trying to go from for here, just so that we keep that in mind. So I know that eventually I want to end up with something like this if possible. Okay, so let's keep moving here. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the right hand side here, and or nope, this is the left hand side, right? I'm gonna continue with the left hand side and see where I get. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I know that 2n factorial is just 2n times 2n minus 1 times 2n minus 2 times 2n minus 3 all the way down until I get to 2 and then 1. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because I suspect that there's some overlap between this factorial and this factorial, right? Um, I know that this number is greater than this number, so I'm going to have some terms that divide out, and then maybe I can simplify that factorial. Um, okay, and then 2 factorial, that's just 2, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that as 2. And then 2n minus 2, that's 2n minus 2 times 2n minus 3, all the way up to 2 times 1. Okay, so do you notice, right, 2n factorial divided by 2n minus 2 factorial is going to simplify just to 2n times 2n minus 1 because these terms will all divide out, okay? And then all divided by 2, okay? So let's see where we're at here. Um, I've got, I'm going to go ahead and divide this to to see what we're working with here, okay? All right, so now I have n times 2n minus 1. And the reason I'm kind of dividing this to because I want to distribute the n, I want to end up with an n squared somehow, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and distribute that n so that maybe I get closer to my n squared. And I don't quite have it yet, but I do have two n squareds. So let me go ahead and just rewrite that as n squared plus n squared minus n. And then let's just let that n squared hang out on the side because I do like that. I'm not really liking this n squared minus n, but maybe we can get it to a setup that I like. Okay, so now, you know, this is just not looking like the left hand side, right? This, this is not looking like this. So what you might want to do is look ahead to the other side. See if you can manipulate this more so that you can work backwards here to get to here. Okay? So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to think about what this is equal to so that maybe I can manipulate this n squared minus n to make it look like this. Okay? Well, I know that 2 divided by 2 factorial is just 1. So then I'm going to be left with n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial plus n squared. I like that n squared. I got that here. 
All right, n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial. I know that n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 all the way up to 1 and 2, right? And then I know that n minus 2 factorial is n minus 2 times n minus 3 all the way up to 2 times 1 plus n squared, okay? All right, so these terms divide out, right? So n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial is just n times n minus 1. Check it out. This is n times n minus 1, okay? So now I know this is just scratch work, right, in the background, so I know where to go. So pretty much I'm just going to follow this backwards now, okay? So I know that I like that n times n minus 1. That was helpful, okay? And then I know that n times n minus 1 is the same thing as n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial. Okay. And then I know that I can multiply the top and bottom by 2. Since that's just 1, I can, I can multiply anything by 1. And then I have 2 on the numerator. And then 2 is just 2 factorial, so I can write that as 2 factorial. Okay, so I'm getting closer, right? I'm going to let this 2 hang out in front. And again, I'm just working, I'm just working this backwards, right? Because I have to start on one side and keep going. So I'm just working what I thought talked through on the other side backwards here. So then I have 2 divided by 1 is 2. Let's see, look, this is n choose 2. We're done. We did it. Okay? So keep in mind, you when you're writing up your proof, you can only work from one side, okay? But that doesn't prevent you from taking a look at the other side and doing some scratch work to see how you can maybe rewrite that side. And then you just work backwards to retrace your steps, okay? Again, make sure you write this up in a linear way. Don't confuse your reader by looking at the other side, right? This stuff has to be scratch work so that it's clear that you can start from one side and end with the other side.